Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is going to be a continuation on displacement from last week. This week we're going to take a look at 16th note displacement. moving things over by half as much time as we were previously, which makes them drastically harder. Um, in fact, when we displace most of the time, it ends up where we're not actually playing anything on the pulse. So that really involves some extra work in getting this to feel right. The entire purpose of this video is to get you being able to feel them and internalize them so that you can apply them musically. All right, so one of the most important things with this subject is to be able to hear the rhythms effectively. Now, one of the easiest ways to get that happening is to play the beats, but without displacing your right hand. So after you've played that beat enough that you can make it feel good and groove on its own, it's time to start going back and forth. But one of the most important things that keeps coming up in almost all of my videos is that I want you to count out loud. None of this in your head crap, out loud. So the best way to do that in a comfortable setting so you can actually hear yourself is to be doing it with a cross stick, just really quiet, that way you can hear yourself counting. So And because it's 16th notes, we're going to be counting 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a. Try and count through this next example. So I played my left foot in quarter notes throughout that entire example. It's important to be able to do it either way through all of these examples to A, help you feel the pulse because you're actually playing something with it, and B, when you actually take this out and play it with people, if they're not on a metronome, this gives them something to listen to. It's still going to be probably really tough for people to follow, but they're not going to just think you screwed up because if you don't have that reference point there, it's just going to sound like you screwed up and then screwed up again when you go back. So not a good thing. Work on it both ways. After you're comfortable with that, then it's time to take it to the drum set. So now that you've got that happening, you're well on your way to making this sound good. The next step is moving your right hand over. This is where it gets really tough, so make sure you take it really slow and count out loud throughout this. Let's try just the displacement.
All right, now that we've come this far, this last piece of the puzzle is probably going to be kind of difficult because now we're going to have to hear it a little bit more and it's going to be louder for us. Make sure you take your time and start slower than you ended off with this last example. Let's put it on the drum set. We can of course displace to and from any point in the meter, starting or finishing wherever we want. This video was intended just as a way to help you feel the rhythms properly and really get them internalized. In the continuation to this video, we'll talk a little bit more about elaborating on these ideas, filling, and you know, different beats, that whole thing. So I hope you guys dug it, hope you get something out of it, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.